But we begin this afternoon with breaking news and a police shooting in Queens. Officers were responding to a report of an emotionally disturbed person when police say they were confronted by a man armed with scissors. That's when officers opened fire, killing that man. Now, we are expecting an update from police at any minute now. You can see them stepping up to the podium. I want to use reporter Joe Torres is in Ozone Park with the breaking news. Joe. Liz, we'll get further details from them in just a second, but this is yet another one of those circumstances where one of New York City's finest finds himself, herself, forced to make a split-second life-or-death decision. In the end, it was death in this case when police had to open fire and a man was shot and killed by officers. The details are still coming in, but this all broke out right around 1.30 this afternoon here on 103rd Street. We're at the corner of 103rd Street and 101st Avenue. You're looking at Citizen App video here in Ozone Park. The officers initially responded to the address following a phone call from a mom complaining and talking about her son, an emotionally disturbed son who was acting erratically. Well, the officers arrived here on the scene, and what they encountered was a 19-year-old man holding, wielding, actually, a pair of scissors. Officers tried to use their tasers at first to subdue that individual, but a confrontation ensued, and the man was shot by police officers. 19 years old, he was rushed to Jamaica. The hospital. That's where he died. Just a few moments ago, we caught up with a witness, a man who lives nearby here, and he saw what happened. I saw them go to the first house, knock on the door, and uh, eventually somebody I just let him in. Then you heard yelling, and then the next thing you heard, you heard a shot. And then after that, it was a little bit of silence, and then you heard more shots. It's a terrible decisions that they have to make every single day. Mm -hmm. That sometimes result in life and death. Right, right. Now, you can see that news conference just getting underway. Police have not released the, sh the victim's identity just yet. Perhaps we'll learn that in a few minutes. So, David and Liz, we'll send it back to you. We're going to go monitor what investigators have to say. We'll have another live report for you coming up at 5 o'clock.